Hey guys, welcome to another video of Django to Panjero tutorial. In the last video, we wrote a simple hello world program, and in this video, we will write database schema for our application, and we will play with database API provided by Django. Without delaying, let's get started. In Django, database tables and fields are defined inside models.py file. Open your application's models.py file and edit it into this. Now let's explain what we did here. First, we define a class named post, which will be stored as table in our database. Inside post class, we define some fields, which will be saved as a column in our database. First field we define is title, which is a care field, and this will be translated to bar care column in database. Second field is slog, and this field is intended to build SEO friendly URLs for our blog posts. Next is body, which is a text field and which will be translated into text column in database. And pop date is a date time field, which is the published date of blog. By default, it will be current time. Last is status field, which is the status of our post. We use a choices parameter so that it can be set to only published or draft. This draft and this published is what will be saved in database and this published and this draft is what will be shown to us. There are lots of fields in Django. You can read about them in official website. Here we have defined a class named meta inside the model class which contains metadata of our model. Here we are telling Django to sort results by published date in descending order when we query the database. The str method is the human readable representation of the object. Django will use it in many places such as administration side. In order to create database tables and fields defined here, our application should be activated first. To do that, open settings.py file.
and add block to install app settings. I have already included it here. Now Django knows our application is active for this project. We will be able to create a database tables and fields. Now let's create a database table for our model in the database. Django comes with a migration system to track the changes we make to our model and propagate them into the database. The migrate command applies migrations for all applications listed in install apps. It synchronizes the database with the current models and migrations. First, we need to create a migrations for new model. Open command prompt. And then type python manage.py make migrations blog. We are getting type error here. In it got an unexpected keyword argument max L E N G H T. Sorry, we made a spelling mistake. So let's go to models.py file and oh there is mistake. Max L E L E N G S T. Let's make to length. Okay. Now let's run that command again. And again we got an unexpected error. Block dot post. Ordering must be a tuple or a list. Even if you want to order by only one field. Okay. Let's go to models dot by file again. And here is what we make a mistake. We we should use comma here because we are we are defining uh, tuple here now let's run that command again you should see result something like this migrations for blog uh, create model post uh, django will create a file 0001 underscore initial dot pi inside the migrations directory of our application You can see here 0001 initial.py. You can open that file and see how a migration looks like. You can also see what SQL query Django will execute in the database to create the table for our model. The SQL migrate command takes migrations names and return their SQL code. Run command. Python managed by SQL migrate blog 0001 to see the SQL query of our model. This is the query Django will execute in the database. Django hasn't created tables in our database yet. Run command python manage.py migrate to apply migrations. Okay. We just applied migrations for the applications listed in installed apps, including our blog application. Now let's summarize the process of creating database table for our application. First, you create tables and fields in models.py file. Second, you run command make migrations to tell Django we have made some changes in our model. And then you run command migrate to actually apply those migrations. So that is all for this video. In the next video we will play with database API provided by Django and 
uh, we will introduce Django administration site. Uh, thank you for watching.